Uh, thanks for taking my question, Ken. Um, was wondering uh, if it is decided to, to go ahead and proceed to the containment system, um, the, the new 50 to 80,000 barrel system wouldn't necessarily be ready immediately. Uh, could you use this cap to, to choke the well back, essentially, um, and make sure that the, the flow only met the containment that you had, uh, that you had prepared for, I guess currently with uh, uh, Helix Producer 1 and the uh, Q4? That's a, a great question, Noah, and, and uh, as I've talked about before, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be progressing every uh, six hours as Unified Command will go through and evaluate the, the data and what's it telling us. Um, clearly, if all the data says uh, we have integrity in the well uh, and we uh, wanted to contain versus leave it shut in, uh, we, we would have that uh, option. Uh, but at this point, it's an option. No decisions have been taken on that, and uh, we're, we're just moving forward uh, in a unified command in a very collective fashion on that. But it's a great question. Our next question is from Vivian Quo with CNN. Hi there, Kent. Good morning. Um, could there be some sort of debris or blockage inside the well itself that's contributing to this low pressure? Uh, boy, I never... Uh, I don't think so, no, uh, because in a, in a no-flow situation, um, sort of anything that would sort of act as a, as a choke wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be a factor. That, uh, if you did have something like that, that, that might affect if it was flowing, but in a, a shutting case, the, the pressure will migrate through um, anything that might be blocking it. So, no, I think we're getting, uh, well, in fact, the, the way the Horner, the, the technique we use is called a Horner plot. And the Horner plot is, is plotting perfectly. Um, that's why I, I have some confidence in sharing you where we think the pressure is going, even though there's an error bar on it. So, uh, no, I don't, don't anticipate that we've got anything getting in the way of the pressure measurements we're taking. You now have the line of Kristen Hayes with the Reuters. Uh, good morning, Kent. Um, I'm going to ask the same question I asked yesterday. Is this test going to end today at the end of the 48-hour mark? Kristen, you're just so hard on me here. Um, I, I, you know, I, I have to ask. <laughs> well, uh, you know, if, if the longer the test goes, the more confidence we have in it. Um, but I, I, I don't want to jump ahead of, of the process we, we've laid out. Uh, Admiral Allen is the ultimate decision maker when it comes to uh, what's done at the end of this test, and we're fully supportive of that. We're continuing to gather all the monitoring information that we collectively think we ought to get, we're doing that. Um, and those decisions will be made as we come. Obviously, the 48 hours comes up later today. Um, and I'm sure the right decisions will be, be made at that point. You know, I know you'll probably ask this question again tomorrow. You now have the line of Ann Thompson with NBC News. Um, so just to clarify, so this test is going to continue all day until tomorrow morning, and can you assess the success or the information that you've gotten from this test? I'm sorry, could you, you say that again? I missed the first part of your question. I apologize, Ken. I just want to make sure I'm clear about this, because if the test was to go 48 hours, it should end at midday today. Does this mean you're going to keep the well shut in past midday today? And how would you assess the, the information you've gotten from the test so far? Yes. So um, the, uh, the, the test was set up that it was to be uh, a 48-hour test, but there was always the provision um, that under certain circumstances the test could be extended. Okay, so we have the option to extend the test if all the data says that um, we should extend it, there's more to learn, there's no risk, et cetera. Uh, it doesn't mean that we immediately need to make a, a, a decision that we're gonna, gonna shut in for an extended period of time. So I think those options are available to the, the Unified Command and um, so far, um, every, everything we've seen indicates that there, the best way to say that there's no evidence that we don't have integrity. Um, uh, the pressure's building uh, as one would expect. All the negative indicators that we're looking for, none of them have indicated we have a lack of integrity. So we're just going to continue to monitor those. 
uh, and then based on that information at that point in time, we'll make decisions on whether to end the test uh, and go into containment mode or continue on with the test 